What's going on, saviors? GH here. Today, we're gonna talk about the next update we're gonna get in the international version of Tree of Savior. Because in my previous upload, I've been getting messages on Discord and in the game saying, What updates you talking about? Game's dead! <laughs> no, bro, the game's not dead. Just go to the website and select this dev blog, and you will see that there's a planned update by the end of this year. We're gonna talk about that in this video, and with that said, let's do this! Here's the dev blog. According to this, we're supposed to get this update second half of 2020 and the second half is almost done. But technically, they could release this update December 31, 2020 and they would still be fulfilling their promises. Well, they should because the game is in a state where in player satisfaction is getting out of hand because IMC don't listen to feedback and because of that, they will lose a lot in the coming months because not just because of not listening to feedbacks also because there are new games next generation games of mmos coming out oh yeah by the way if you do not like hearing the truth i must warn you click away from this video because reality will set in and you might have a bad day and i'm also gonna rant <laughs> so if you're not interested in that please go thank you i'm gonna give you five seconds five four three two one I assume the IMC fanboy is gone. Okay, let's resume. Here's the first update that we're supposed to expect soon, and it's Solo Raid. So, what's special about this? This Solo Raid is for Legend Lepidoptera and Unique White Witch. And according to this, we can bring one assister in those Solo Raid. Now, is this hype? Well, for me, not so much in Solo Legend Lepid because they removed the good drops and most of what we can get there is cheap already. So I guess what this is gonna do is make the items obtained from there even much more cheaper. For the Solo Unique White Witch, if the first strike armor can still be obtained in some way in that solo raid, it could be good. But I'm assuming we will only get fragments which is trash at the moment it's super cheap in the marketplace hardly anyone wants it so the solo unique white witch could be useless if the rewards are not managed properly by imc next upcoming update is the solo challenge mode with the assisters this one i like it because it will give players the opportunity to do challenge mode in higher level maps and get possibly something half decent without waiting for a party that wants them regardless of the class build that they have. I really want this content soon in the game plus I also want more use for the assister system because right now it's once a week for the assister dungeon and maybe weekly boss and that's about it. This update is gonna be fun, I just hope it doesn't take longer than 10 minutes to do one run with your assisters because if it's longer, I might as well do CM with other people. Anyway, looking at this, it says silver and item drop probability will be 70% of the challenge mode. Which is fine, I guess, as long as there is a false hope of getting a Vibora, that should give new players something to look forward to. Until they realize that it's better not to expect those rare items, because they don't drop at all. And what else? According to this, they are still developing ways to improve how we control the sisters. Okay, good luck. And here we go, the most important part of this dev blog and it's balance changes. And we can expect Virgin, Fletcher, Ranger, Highlander, Fencer, Matador, Cryomancer, Chaplain, and Monk will be adjusted according to this. Okay, Virgin and Fletcher is one of my most weighted rebalance because it's only cannons and muskets at the moment. So rebalancing Virgin and Fletcher will be a breath of fresh air. Now, Highlander. They should be careful on buffing that class cause that could easily replace Barbarian on the Meta Swordsman build. Now, uh, Fencer and Matador, they need to buff its skill factor cause right now it's not that great. For Cryo, I have no clue as how they are gonna rebalance this cause right now its crowd control ability is very good but yeah the damage is very low but you can't have both so I hope IMC finds a solution to this that satisfies the majority of players. Then Chaplain and Monk, they need to do a complete rework of both because they don't work great. Monk kinda works but it takes a lot of effort to make it work 
And the outcome is not that great. And according to the second paragraph, it says Nak Buai, Saikokino, and Badhu needs more development time and two new classes. And as you can see here, th these are currently planned for updates at the end of this year. If this is true, we're gonna get new classes by the end of this year. And that could be real fun. I'm hyped for that, but it's almost November. So I hope this developer blog isn't a lie. Because we don't need one right now. In the third paragraph, they are already saying sorry <laughs> that the reorganization of the classes may be changed according to the development situation. So why say it's update for the second half of this year? If I were you guys, just say upcoming updates, the blog, that's it. So that nobody will be disappointed. I understand if it gets delayed, but time is of the essence, IMC. Okay, here we go. The last that we can expect this year is changes in rewards from normal hunting grounds and field. Let me summarize this first paragraph. And what they basically say here is they don't want extreme hard play users in TOS anymore. Because according to them, it widens the gap with ordinary users. Ah, IMC, are you sure you don't want players anymore? Okay. So you there, you, yeah you, you play a lot, right? Well, IMC says thank you for making the game active, we love you. Now, go leave, don't come back, IMC don't want you anymore. I just wanna add, if you analyze this sentence here, widens the gap with ordinary users. You know what widens the gap with ordinary users? It's art stones. Without art stones, you will not have access to the best gears around. So if I were you, IMC, if you want to lower the gap between ordinary users, what you need to do is make art stones easily obtainable and cheap. But you don't want to do that, do you? Because you don't want to anger the botters that botted all year round just to win in your gambling system. Okay, anyway, in the second paragraph, it's more of a F the FF hardcore players. I think what they meant here is the botters. To stop botters, they will remove silver drops from lower level fields and replace the silver drop from higher level fields and hunting grounds to the corresponding number of mercenary badges. So I also assume that they are gonna rework the mercenary badge shop because everything in there is not that great. This is a controversial topic because most players don't like it or should I say most botters don't like it. I would like to say that silver can still be obtained in challenge mode. So there is no total removal of silver in the game unless IMC decides to remove it too. And in that case, what the F. And that's it guys. This is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.